My name is Fido Monica, and I'm from West Africa. Well, for the past years, uh, the language has been the biggest complication, like a barrier in finding a job. Because once you don't learn or know German, no one is going to employ you. Yeah. So it was really complicated and very difficult. How did I learn German? Well, I tried to fit in the society because when you go to Rome, you do as the Romans do. You know, you try to incorporate into the system by learning. You know, so I went to school to study first my AIs and then proceed to Artwise, which I'm still struggling with. It's really difficult, but we're getting there slowly. Well, to be frank, because I really want to be honest, it might be uh, shocking, but I have not encountered, apart from the language, which my co workers don't really understand me. Even though they will be so, huh? <laughs> Did they? You know? But really, we are flowing. And you know, it's not easy to have the West African accent and you're working with your people who know Germans to be called, you know, but they try their best to encourage me by speaking, coming down to my level to mix it, you know? So for complete. Um, Difficulties or challenges have not encountered any. Um, I would say fantastic. <laughs> For me, I am blessed. I don't, I don't know which other word I can use. Being here in Dinadi, I am really blessed being among them. They've been wonderful supporters. I'm telling you. Do you mean that the limitations to people who have the ability to work or the language is holding them down? Yes. Coming back to the plain language, it would be nice if really people in authorities would look at the ability of individuals and if they can just make it easier instead of making it as a compulsory or compulsory something for people. It's difficult when you feel that it's a must, you know. But if they give you the privilege to like at your own time, few words are coming together, just work on it so that you can, you know, it's easy to digest than you working on that stress. If you are a female, try to look for female organizations. It really helps, you know, in the sense that you incorporate yourself in the system. Try to go for meetings, try to look, see how the things are moving forward. You know, there is one thing they used to say, if you go to a new place, before you drop your two legs, just hop on one leg first, and when you feel comfortable, you can hop on the two legs. So I think it will be nice if you look for where to get connected in a sense. And if you are a male, try to look for organizations also. It's just the same. There are organizations here in Austria that really help people to come together. Even for a cafe drinking, talking to your fellow, it can help, you know. Uh, it's like a chain, you know. Someone was there for you. They watch also beyond what you can give, you know. But they check your individual abilities. We need workers. I think all employers should really look into people. They all this frustration is really difficult. Russia is a very good country to, to live in, but you know how, uh, as the process goes, they collect everything from you.
how do you expect people to survive? If there's good employers who are there to say, okay, damn the language, come, we'll help you. If they are not there, there's going to be a lot of frustration out there. You know? People are coming with their troubles. They are coming with their... It's all like a mess up. So they just need someone who can show a little bit of care and love to them. That brings me back to your question. What is the attitude towards my work colleague? I, I can only say, in fact, wonderful. Yeah. Because they made me feel like family. I'm not only saying it, ask anyone behind me. This is what they can do. You know? Let the skills of people, migrants, talk. And I think INS also deserve these kudos because they really play a great role. If some of them did not really think, they wouldn't have allowed us to be into the system. So for the good ones who are really looking beyond your situation and wants to give others opportunity to come to the to, to be part of this whole process, I say thank you. And others who are still being behind, try to look beyond and speak, their ability, what people can do, talk for them.